After Miracle, the Quran is a unique literary form. It's not like Shakespeare based upon aesthetic perception. It's based on form. It's unique. Can't be matched by a human being. Number two, scientific miracle. The Quran mentions the development of the human embryo. It mentions the word alaqa. Alaqa means three things in the classical dictionary. Number one, something that hangs, a worm or a blood clot. Let's take the first meaning, something that hangs, that you can't see with the naked eye. But the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, spoke about this in the Quran, therefore it's from the divine. Alaqa means something that hangs. According to John Allen and Beverly Kramer in the book, The Fundamentals of Human Embryology, on page number 27, says the embryo hangs from the connecting stalk in the extra embryonic cilium. This couldn't have been known. Galen got it wrong. Aristotle got it wrong. I know Greek. I studied Galen and Aristotle. Third argument, numerical. The Quran was revealed over a 23 year period by this amazing coherence. For instance, Surah Baqarah was revealed over a nine year period. It has 286 verses. If you fold it in the middle, you have the 143rd verse. Would you find the word middle? The Quran in Surah Imran says the likeness of Jesus and the likeness of Adam are the same in Allah's eyes. These two words, Jesus and Adam, are both mentioned 25 times each. And up to this verse, they're mentioned seven times each. That's the third argument. The fourth argument is historical. The Quran mentions two descriptions of the leader of the Egyptians, Firaun, Pharaoh, and King Malik, for two different times. This was unknown at that time because the hieroglyphs was a dead language. Dead language, people. We would have found this in the 19th century. The Bible was wrong. Okay, we're not supposed to talk about the Bible. Let me just add here. The Bible, the Bible was wrong because it only mentions Pharaoh. That the fifth argument, the Quran creates change in humanity. It created justice and peace and preserved the Jewish tradition. Uh, the Jews, for example, Zion Zohar says, when the Muslims crossed the Straits of Gibraltar and the Iberian Peninsula, the Jews saw the Muslims as liberated from Christian persecution. The Quran talks about justice. In Allah, you have muqsiteen. Indeed, God is with the just. I've given you five reasons. Reason number one, linguistic miracle. Reason number two, scientific miracle. Reason number three, numerical miracle. Reason number four, historical miracle. And reason number five was a social miracle, political miracle. There's no naturalistic explanation, therefore it's from the divine. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, ashhadu an la ilaha illa wa sabra tu bilayk. Thank you, Hamza. Okay. Folks, you have heard those are the five the five claims he's made for the Quran. Let's go through each one of them. Literalistic miracle. Is the Quran literalistically pure? Is it the best piece of literature we have today? Read the Quran and see if you agree. See if it has any complete stories. The stories do not complete. In fact, there is only one complete story in the entire Quran, and that is the story of Joseph in Surah 12. Other than that, they don't begin, stories don't end, stories don't go one from the other, they are full of contradiction. Besides that, folks, see if it makes much sense to you. Even the Muslim scholars say that one-fifth of the Quran, 20%, even makes no sense to the scholars. How can this be a miracle? What's more, folks, we've now done historical study on the Quran. He says historically, that's one of his points, that it is pure. Folks, look and see where the Quran gets its material from. We can derive most of the stories from other sources. We can look and see and unpack it. Surah 5, Ayah 31 is a story of Cain and Abel. That comes from the Talmud of Jonathan ben Uzziah, written in the second century AD. After the Bible had been finished, it was borrowed from that story. The very next verse, verse 32, the verse that talks about he who takes the blood of one, it's as if he takes the blood of all. They like to think that's a verse on peace. Folks, that comes from the Bar Sanhedrin, chapter 5, verse 4, written in the 5th century. It's borrowed straight out of the Bar Sanhedrin from the same text that has the story of also Cain and Abel and the raven. Surah 21, Ayah 51 to 71, the story of Abraham, comes from the, the Talmud of Rabbah. Another late 2nd century document. 
Surah 27, Ayah 17 to 44. The story of Solomon and Shiva. Solomon, in that story, does not do the same thing he does in the Bible, proving it comes from another source. And we know where the source for that story is. It comes from the second Talmud of Esther, written in the late second century. The Quran is borrowed from many sources. He talked about the scientific miracle. He talked about the four stages of the embryological cycle. Take a look at those four stages, and you will see they come from Galen. The same four stages were written by Galen in the second century. A Jewish embryologist writing in Greek. It is his material that existed right up until the fifth century. We're being taught in the schools in Stesiphon, which later became Baghdad. That's where the Quran got its material from. It sourced it from there. It borrowed it. Nothing's new. There is no miracle there. If you're going to call this a miracle, then give credit to Galen, the Jewish embryologist that wrote it in the second century. But don't say this is from Muhammad. Folks, he talks about not only the literalistic, he says that it cannot be equaled. Do you really believe that? No. Look and see how many books not only equal the Quran, but are better than the Quran. I'll give you my Bible. In fact, I will give you Psalm 23. The Quran makes the check Alex. Find a surah like it. Read Psalm 23 and find if there's anything in the Quran that can equal Psalm 23. But don't just stop there. Go to Psalm 1. Go to Psalm 2. Go to any of the Psalms and if see if there's anything in the Quran that can equal it. Sorry, I am loud. There's a big crowd. This is Speaker's Corner. Forgive me, Hamza. <laughs> Go to 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, the chapter on love. Show me any verse, any chapter that can equal that in the Quran. Folks, I give you the Bible. The Bible is superlative. We don't say it's the best piece of literature. What we do say, it is God's words in the words of men. We know the men that wrote it. We know the authors of all the books. Most of them gave their name to the books. We don't know the author of the Quran. Certainly Muhammad didn't write it. He couldn't read or write. So where did the Quran come from? We pretty well know where it came from. It came from many sources, borrowed from many literatures, many of them written. We know who the men are. We know when they were writing. We know why they were writing. They did not get it from God. It was not sent down over a period of 22 years. It is an inferior piece of literature. It does not equal the literature we have today. It does not equal our Bible. You want a better piece of literature. You want a literature that really tells us who God is, a God that comes down, walks and talks with us, and dies for us, then come on back to the Bible. I give you the Bible. What a piece of book it is. But more than that, it truly is the Word of God not just because of the borrowed stories that we have in the Quran, it because it does come from God, written by men. I give you the Bible. Okay, you heard Jay Smith okay, okay, okay. With, his inter with his internet scholarship. Let's go to Galen. I guarantee you he hasn't read the original Greek by Galen called Dissemini. I've read it in Greek. He doesn't even know Greek. And what does Galen say? He could never, the prophet could never copy from Galen. Galen says that your semen comes from blood. Then he says the two semen meet and they mix with menstrual blood. The Quran does not copy these fallacies. For him to claim the Quran copied this is open a can of worms. Because it means that the author knew what was accurate and knew what was wrong. So the Galen argument is an outdated Christian internet cliche. Secondly, he's saying that the Quran borrowed stories. Since when has similarity been equal to plagiarization? That's never been the case. Similarity does not equal plagiarization. It's a false logical fallacy resonating in your speech. Secondly, you have no argument for the Bible. Where was your positive case? for the Bible for him by God because he knows he doesn't know what the Bible is if you read the works of Bart Ehrman, Dr. Brutz Metzger even if you go and see the Greek manuscripts yourself like I have there's over 7,000 New Testaments in the Greek language after 200 years of the so-called resurrection and no one text agrees with another so I ask him the question excuse me so I ask him the question which Bible are you talking about my friend Secondly, 
Secondly, he talked about he talked about the Quran is a plagiarization. If you listen carefully, he ignored the historical miracle about Pharaoh and Malik the king because it goes against the Bible. And this proves the Quran never copied the Bible because it goes against the very narrative of the Pharaoh because it differentiates between two periods, the old Middle Kingdom and the new kingdom. Have you noticed he missed that out? Finally, very false contention on the linguistic miracle of the Quran. He doesn't even know Arabic. But let me tell you people who know Arabic. AJ Arbery, in his translation of the Quran, he says the Quran is a unique fusion of prose and poetry. We have Dr. Martin Zameh from the Netherlands. He said, notwithstanding pre-Islamic poems, the Quran is the most eminent written manifestation of the Arabic language. He can't even speak Arabic. We have Professor Neil Robinson in his book, Discovering the Quran, a contemporary approach to the text. He has a whole chapter on the dynamic style of the Quran and says this surpasses any known Arabic literature. You have the works of Professor Anthony Jones from Queensland University, another Arabist. He goes and discusses chapter 12 of the Quran and says about his imaginistic beauty. So his contentions were all false. My question. My question. My question.